my yogis. Welcome back to season 12 of The Mat. My name is Kat Wendorf and I am a certified sports yoga instructor practicing in Florida. And this is Miss Darcy, who's also a certified yoga instructor. Please roll out your mat and come on down to your buttocks for me. Let's just come to a seated position in the middle of your mat. And we're just gonna do a little inhalation, exhalation to get started. Inhale with your arms up. And exhale through your mouth. Bringing those arms back down to the floor. Flip your palms and up. Flip your palms and down. And inhale up for me. And oceanic breath out through the mouth. Inhale up. And flip the palms, exhale down. And flip the palms, inhale up. And bring your hands down to your heart in prayer position, exhale. Okay. Today, we are going to work on a little Pilates move called the mermaid lift. I like to incorporate Pilates with the yoga because this is a sports yoga when we're doing a little bit more intensive than we would in just our Hatha yoga or um, more invigorating such as the Vinyasa yoga. So we do uh, mix it up a little bit with a little Pilates and other things, but today it's gonna be the mermaid lift. To begin, we're gonna start on our right side. You wanna be in the middle of your mat and you wanna go ahead and put your right knee down and bring your left knee on top. So you're sitting like that. Your hand's gonna be spread wide behind you and you want to make sure that your alignment is such that it's a straight arm with a little bit of bend. You don't ever wanna be completely straight, just a little bit of bend so you have some flexibility in your shoulder and down through your arm, through your fingertips. Okay, the first part is we're going to flip our palm over and we're going to lift our left knee up and inhale. And then the second part is we're going to lift our buttocks up and continue in that inhale as we stretch over and hold it and release back down carefully. Bring the knee back down, flip the palm back down Bring the palm to the floor and now stretch to the left, giving me a side stretch. Inhale up and flip your palm and bring it back down. So that is the mermaid lift. Again, we're gonna repeat that. So we're gonna flip the palm, we're doing it slow. Inhale, flip the palm, bring it down to the floor and side stretch. And back. Okay, so we're gonna do four of those together. Ready? Flip the palm. And up. And up. Switch sides, middle of the back, left knee down, right knee on top, fingers spread wide, alignment, but loose, not tight, never rigid. We're going to start flipping the palm, open the knee, hips up, flip the palm, back down, side bend, flip the palm, Flip this palm up, flip the palm, touch the floor in front of you, bring the other arm up, flip the palm, flip this palm, flip the palm, back down, flip the palm, flip the palm, 
put the palm back down, side bend. One more, and we're gonna hold it at the top on this one. Up, hold it, hold it, and down. Side bend. Awesome! Now, to finish it off, just bring your knees into your chest, lift up, flex your feet. If you feel comfortable, put your arms out in front of you. If not, it's okay to hold on like this. This is your boat pose. You can stretch your legs out. This will work your abs, or you can leave your legs in. Just gonna bring them into my chest for a minute. I'm gonna tuck my head in to my knees. <sighs> Straighten my legs out. We're gonna inhale again. And bring your hands down into prayer. Bring our hands to our third eye. Bow. Namaste. May the light from you come to the light in me and reflect back to you. So there you have it. That's your mermaid lift. Now what we're going to do is continue in the journey into power. Baron Batiste. And when we left off last time, we had already gone through all the principles, the eight principles. And now what Baron's talking about is why do yoga daily? When I first opened my studio in Cambridge, we put up signs that said for good results three times a week, for life-changing results five to six. If you want decent results, three times a week will do. But if you're really looking to transform your body, your spirit, and your life, do power yoga every day. You'll be amazed by what happens. A regular practice keeps us on track. Practicing daily is a way to check in with your body on a consistent basis. Your body communicates in the language of sensation, so listen to it. What is your body feeling today? Where are you stiff, tense, stuck? And what does that mean? Are you off balance? Do you feel strong or do you feel drained? Is your breathing smooth and free? or ragged and, con and congested. As the connection between your body and mind becomes clearer, you start to see what's going on for you each day and you see how your habits or actions manifest in your system. When you get on your mat, the results of how you treated your body the previous day are right there for you to witness. Your mat is a mirror. I like that, your mat is a mirror. When you step onto it, your actions are reflected back at you. You directly experience cause and effect, both good and bad. You feel how heavy food creates heavy energy and eating lightly creates vitality. Maybe you feel the effects of that second glass of wine, the chocolate bar, or your third cup of coffee and realize you don't really need it. Or maybe you start to see how many hours of sleep you must have to be able to function at optimal levels. All the feedback you need about your body's requirements and tolerances becomes available to you. Never again will you have to turn to experts to know what you need. You are cultivating an awareness of your own well-being, learning to listen to your body and honoring your intuition. If you practice three times a week, it helps, but you live your life all the time, so why get your energy flowing only three out of seven days? You can't really awaken if you only plug in three times a week. Since yoga creates new wiring in you, it's much harder to start and stop because you lose the momentum and the cumulative effects of practicing consistently. Yoga is all about moving energy. And when you don't do it, the energy becomes stagnated. You then have to expend more energy to get it moving again. It's like a car. You use less fuel if you keep it running than if you turn off the ignition. The more you practice, the easier the asanas become and the more benefits you get. You get longer, stronger, and more supple every time you get on your mat and eventually you astound yourself and flow right into poses that once seemed impossible. It's a simple but crucial role for any level of transformational success. You must develop the spirit of repetition and consistency. Repetition is the mother of skill, and the skill is the mother of mastery. And that is the truth. If you take even just five minutes, I challenge you, five minutes a day to practice for seven days, 
and then see how the difference is between maybe coming on here once a week and practicing and maybe doing some other form of exercise elsewhere. Do five minutes to start, 10 minutes optimally if you have the time. Work yourself up to at least a 20 minute routine every day. If you do that, like I said, by week 12, those asanas will become easier for you and you will have that aha moment that I talked about in the previous episode. We will um, get into Warrior One on the next episode. I hope that you enjoyed the mermaid lift. And uh, if you will, please comment below if you have any questions, anything you'd like to see, um, a different posture that you'd like to know about, any comments. We welcome all comments and suggestions. And we thank you for participating with us and watching today. Namaste.